This is a quick tutorial on how to add grind rails to your UEFN or Fortnite Creative map. We'll start in Fortnite Creative where I place the grind rail and now I select the um, thing at the tip of the grind rail and right click on it to copy it, paste it, and then I paste several of them um, where I want them. So each of these is a node in the spline that is underlying the grind rail. So the grind rail is a Bezier curve, essentially. Uh, and the spline is the Bezier curve that is defined, that defines the path along which the player will be walking or grinding. So each of these nodes you add is um, one point where the track can tur curve or change and the tar tangent intensity or the strength as I consider it is how wide the um, curve gets as a result of that specific node so so if you look at the way that I'm increasing the intensity what happens as soon as I increase the intensity is the rail gets a lot smoother and you want to do this because if you have a you know you'll have a very very sharp graphics glitch looking thing if you have a, a sharp turn like I had there and so each of my each of my um, each of my nodes um, has been changed a little bit and then I uh, you know you just move the move the endpoints around um, I delete an endpoint at the end there because I did some I had extras um, and then I made the made it a little more intense and now here we are testing it and now we run on up we jump we grind and off we go along our grind rail huh isn't that fun uh, this is the same map in UEFN here we are we're gonna roll on in and see these are the grind rails as they look in game after my editing um, and here we've got uh, rail color. Now you can edit this in creative as well. Uh, it's just I'm much more comfortable in UEFN than creative. Uh, I'm sure that most people that are watching this video are differently uh, comfortable. This is a spline. So the spline is the, the, is the complicated part to edit in UEFN. I don't know how to add um, nodes to the spline, but you can move the nodes around a little bit, huh? Like this, just back and forth. If you select the nodes in the uh, in the in the rail, and you can also scale them, rotate them. So this node, I've got my my rotate snap on. My rotate snap should be turned off. So now I can rotate my spline, and it rotates pretty nicely. And you can also scale it. So scaling it is the equivalent of modifying the strength in creative so that's how you edit it in uafn let's undo all of that because that's not what i want to do with this map great and then we, that is the that is how you edit the grind rail in uefn now you can of course it's an it's an object like any other so you can just copy and paste it if you want i can i have obviously duplicated this specific spline um this spline because this team has a uh, this team has an autumn island uh, is exactly the same as this spline for this autumn island for the other team so each team has an exactly equivalent uh, island there you go so that's how you do the grind rails in UAFN and it's super fun now if you want to try it out on my map uh, you're welcome to I have I have a uh, code down at the bottom for you of the screen here and if you want to like and subscribe uh, i will have more maps and more tutorials in the future all right bye bye